New information tonight about how the Iron Mountain Fire Department can respond to car crashes. Now, the department unboxed three of those new Jaws of Life tools this morning. TV6's Iron Mountain Kingsford Bureau reporter Blake Ryerson shares how the new equipment will make the fire department faster and more effective when seconds matter and your loved one's life could be on the line. One of the Iron Mountain Fire Department's new extrication tools uses 8,000 pounds of force to easily bend this car door in half. The department bought three extrication tools, commonly referred to as the Jaws of Life, after getting a $41,000 grant from Michigan's Office of Highway Safety Planning. Iron Mountain Deputy Director of Fire Services, Jeff Friedenstab, says the new tools will make the department more effective at saving lives. These new battery-operated tools allow us to do things that uh, our old tools wouldn't. Our old tools are reliant on a gas motor, which we have to hook hydraulic hoses to, then gets attached to the tool. We need less manpower to carry the tools because we don't have to worry about a hydraulic pump. We don't have to worry about carrying the hoses. We can just grab these battery tools and go to where they're needed. Each tool is electric and operates off a power tool battery like one from an electric drill or saw. It's enough to power a machine capable of cutting through steel for almost 40 hours. They are lighter than gas-powered tools and are easily carried over obstacles or long distances. Friedenstab says the department thoroughly researched the best manufacturers for the tools. We have a few people that have uh, had the opportunity to go to trainings to use different tools. Um, we've had uh, the opportunity to do the research online. Uh, watch the videos. The Iron Mountain Fire Department was the only department in the Upper Peninsula to be awarded the grant, according to Friedenstab. Blake Ryerson, TV6 News, Iron Mountain. Thank you, Blake.